Hey there, creepy peeps, and welcome to another, what day is this going up? Wednesday, weird Wednesday video. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna do something that I don't think I've ever done. It's gonna be a what's in my bag video, which is normally something kind of like beauty gurus, lifestyle-y people do on YouTube, but I thought I would do like Halloween edition, right? I don't know, I, I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go along. I'm sure somebody out there has already done this on YouTube, so I highly doubt this is an original <laughs> take on the what's in my bag challenge, but um, is it a challenge? I don't even know. Anyways, let's just get into this. Um, really quick though, I wanna say thank you to my creepy patron peeps for your support of my channel. Thank you so, so much. If you wanna find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link in the description. Okay, <laughs> so this is not, my normal bag that I normally have. I have like a little uh, backpack from Doll Kills, Dolls Kill. Um, <laughs> but we got these in at work because we got a whole bunch of awesome Nightmare Before Christmas stuff because of the anniversary. So as soon as it was October, um, I transferred my stuff to this bag. You know, for boots. I guess I'll go through what's in my bag. Um, hopefully this is entertaining. I don't know. Um, I guess we can go through some basic stuff and get it out of the way. Like my wallet, that's not, you know, it's just a plain black faux leather, faux snakeskin pattern. I don't know what you want to call this wallet. <laughs> I have a little makeup bag in here. I might've shown this in a haul, like when I got it and I don't remember where, but if I can find it <laughs> again, I will definitely link it in the description. Um, it's supposed to be a makeup bag, but there is, I think actually no makeup in it. Unless chapstick counts, there's some chapstick. Uh -huh. <laughs> some basic stuff in there. I got some hand lotion. I got a mirror. <laughs> um, and like I said, there's a chapstick. Um, probably the really only spoopy thing in here that anyone would be interested in is um, this uh, perfume oil that I have. And I only break this out during Halloween and I'm almost out of this. So this is from um, an Etsy shop called One Hand Washes the Other. Yeah, One Hand Washes the Other um, or O H W. T-O um, <laughs> on Etsy. Um, I actually haven't been back to their shop since I got this. Um, so I hope they're still around because I am almost out. I don't know if you can see, you probably won't be able to see, but I'm very low on it. Um, <laughs> but this is, I only break this out during Halloween time. Um, it's called Pumpkin Eater, that is the scent. Um, and it's awesome. I'm not in focus, focus. Etsy site they recommend like that the scent is best when it's on skin like after it's kind of like mingled with your skin and you know that sort of thing and I kind of tend to agree it does smell different just by itself in the bottle than when you know I put it on and like rub it in and especially after it's been on my skin for a little bit like I don't know the scent changes but in a good way like it's awesome um and I much prefer like these perfume oils to regular perfume because I feel like they last longer. I don't know if that's accurate like shelf life wise if they last longer, but I feel like they last longer like on your person. Like I can smell it <laughs> throughout the day as opposed to like a spray perfume or something that I feel like is gone after like 15 minutes. Um, of course, since I live in Florida and it does tend to rain here a lot, I have uh, a carry umbrella, which I got in a box. So I'm sure, you know, if you've been on the channel for a while, you've seen it. Um, for luck reasons, I'm not gonna open it all the way, but it says carry on it and it's got like these, this blood splatter pattern. And it may look weird, like not like blood, that's because when the water hits it, this turns dark red. So like, you know, the, the lettering and the blood splatter turns dark red when it's wet. Yeah, so that's in my purse. Oh, that's just my uh, name tag for work. I do have some horror pins on it though, which you, I'm sure you guys have seen if you've been on my channel for a while, like, for a while. unboxing and all that. I got some horror pins. These are mostly all from, I actually, you know what? I think they're 100% from Nocturnal Reader's box, if it'll focus. 
There's my Stephen King constant reader pin, just a creepy, I think it's supposed to be Edgar Allan Poe inspired one, a Jekyll and Hyde, and then The Exorcist. Uh, <laughs> I figured, you know, the creepy book pins belonged on my <laughs> name tag for work, which is a bookstore in my book. I typically always have a book in my purse because you never know when you're gonna be bored and just need something to read or you have to wait somewhere or, you know. So <laughs> obviously I have my current Creepy Book Club read in there, which is Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury. I also have one I just recently picked up, which is Hocus Pocus in Focus, which I don't think is official Disney stuff by any means. Um, <laughs> but it's like, it's, I mean, it says the thinking fans guide to the Disney Halloween classic. Um, it basically, you know, talks about the themes of the movie, the influence, like how it's like a cult classic now and stuff like that, which is super cool. I didn't know that this was a thing until a customer <laughs> came in looking for it. And, you know, we're just like, oh, what is that? So me and the other girl working, we ordered it for the, the customer and then we ordered one for each of us as well. So I have that. Um, let's see, what else is in here? Um, you know, this is a Halloween, what's in my bag. So there are certain things in here that I have during Halloween time that aren't, you know, in my bag always. So for example, spray blood. Why is this in here? I mean, you never know when you're gonna need to fake an injury or scare somebody. It's Halloween, you know, like trick or treat. You gotta occasionally play a trick, right? Um, have a knife in case I need to stab a or pretend to stab a because this is a fake knife. I don't keep an actual knife in my purse. Why would I do that? Severed hand usual stuff. Also got a notebook in here because I'm a nerdy nerd and you know, if I have ideas for like videos or whatever, it goes <laughs> in here. Otherwise I'll forget and then be sad. Um, so there's that. And then the last couple things in here were just some pickups from work <laughs> again, um, because obviously we're getting fun scoopy stuff in. Oh, there is one more thing in there. Okay, um, fun, spooky stuff in for October. So there are just some magazines because whenever there's a new spooky magazine, I get told about it because everyone at work now knows that I'm into the spooky stuff. This video is a mess. I get told whenever there is uh, something new that is horror movie related like this, uh, which is a little, uh, magazine um it is encyclopedia of horror the ultimate guide to all things scary <laughs> which is cool i haven't read through the entire thing yet but it goes through kind of like all your basics really you know there's evil dead scream uh halloween obviously the exorcist it's just a whole bunch of whole bunch of horror goodness we love it. Um, and then recently we got a new horror hound, which has a good book on the cover. So of course I had to get it, like obviously, obviously. There was also this little, um, I guess just like mini magazine, like special, which is also horror hound, but it's all about Halloween. So it has like some interviews from uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and David Gordon Green and all of that. And then it goes through like the history of the entire franchise. Um, and that was just a fun little, you know, it's, it's just all about the Halloween franchise. So I thought I would pick it up. Um, and like I said, there was one more thing in here. It's just my coin purse, which is so cute. I mean, look at it. It's a coin purse, but it's like in the shape of a cat and it's got like little cat ears and it's so cute. Now I gotta put everything back in. Okay, so that was what's in my bag Halloween edition. I don't know if that was entertaining at all and I don't know if I've done what's in my bag before. I'm sure I have, I don't know. Um, but hopefully it was a little bit fun and entertaining. And let me know if you carry around any extra spooky items on your person, in your bag, in your purse, in your man purse, whatever. Uh, 
<laughs> during Halloween time. Um, yeah. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday normally, and then every single day this week, I'm posting a movie review for October, obviously. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay strange. Bye.